Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So last week I spoke about how you could get to choose who you are in any situation and that it's the one choice that we have complete power over. And this week I want to kind of dive a little deeper into that um, because I've recently come back from South Africa to the UK and um, I'm currently quarantining in a lovely hotel, hence, <laughs> hence the view from the camera. But on my way into quarantine, once we arrived in the UK, um, we ended up in a queue at the airport that lasted um, four hours and it took us over six hours to get from landing at Heathrow to the actual hotel that we're now currently staying at. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I obviously had a lot of time to think <laughs> in the four hours that we stood in the queue at Heathrow. And I noticed and observed a number of things that I wanted to share with you. And it goes back to that choice of who we are in the moment. But it's more to the, more, there is more to it than that. When you choose who you are, it's not just about how people experience you through who you choose to be, to be. but it's also about how you experience life through who you choose to be. So um, a couple of people I noticed, the lady behind me, um, although at one stage we were quite chatty and we had a really lovely conversation, as you do when you're standing in a queue for four hours with lots of other people. Um, I also noticed that she was getting incredibly frustrated with the situation that we were all in and she was fighting it and making it wrong. And the more she did that, I could tell the more upset and anxious and cross and irritated she became. And because of that, she voiced her opinion to those of us around her. And you could feel that it was spreading and that it was kind of igniting those people around her. Um, there was also a gentleman, um, a husband and a wife and their kids. And when they finally got to the front of the queue, he started, I suppose, accusing the border guards because until that point, we hadn't really been able to interact with the border guards. But there was one at the very front of the queue, I guess, making sure that people went through in an orderly way. And he took up his grievances with this border guard. And at one stage, he turned around to, I guess, solicit backup from the other people in the queue as to how outrageous it was that we'd been standing in a queue for four hours. And in doing so, the border guard took it as a insult that he turned his back on him mid-conversation and the whole thing kind of started to escalate. And I'm sharing this because who he was being in that moment was somebody who was very, very angry with the way things that had been handled. He was so angry that he, he kind of couldn't contain that anger and he had to project it out. But when we project something like that out into the world, it then gets reflected back onto us and it kind of grows and grows. Um, and I'm, I'm just sharing this with you so that you can understand that who you're being in the world changes your experience of the world. It changes the experience of those people in the world around you. And one of the things that I was trying to, <laughs> trying to be in those four hours in the queue, and I didn't manage it all the time, but I think I got there most of the time, was just to be completely accepting. There wasn't anything stressful about it in the fact that it was just a process that we had to go through. Fighting it wouldn't have made a difference. Complaining about it wouldn't have made a difference. There was nothing really to do but to accept it. And in accepting it, there's suddenly a peace. There's there's no making it wrong, no fighting against how long it took, no being cross and angry because, you know, there were no seats, no um, pent up anything. It was just a simple matter of fact of just knowing that we were going to be in that queue as long as we were in that queue. There weren't any other options. And I think that's something that's really important in life is that we aren't always in control of the situations that we end up encountering and we can't always change those situations but we can change who we are in regards to those situations. And for me, the choice of choosing acceptance in that moment meant that although the experience wasn't pleasant, it wasn't as awful as it could have been if I'd been angry, upset, anxious, frustrated, and all of those other things. And for me, it's really about focus and choosing where to focus in that moment. And to find acceptance, I had to take my focus away from frustration, away from anger, and choose to focus on other things. Um, I daydreamed, I chatted to the people around me, um, I did weird little exercises like bouncing up and down and shifting side to side. 
um, I observed people and tried to sort of learn from the situation that I was in and try to find some fi kind of enjoyment in it. Fundamentally, it was about not resisting or fighting what was going on in that moment. I hope you've enjoyed this little insight. I hope it's given you something to think about. Um, anything that I've mentioned in the episode today, you'll find in the show notes below, um, along with my website and all my social media, should you wish to contact me. Um, I have a number of online courses, which you're free to have a look at on my website. And if you fancy a chemistry call because you're interested in coaching with me, then by all means, send me a private message and we can arrange that. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.